Hi guys, live from Central Texas, it's Mail Call! <laughs> anyway, it's uh, 207 Saturday afternoon, May the 6th, 2017. It is 78 or 80, it's probably 8, no it's better now, 84 degrees outside, pretty warm, perfectly clear and dry, very dry. But we got a mail call today, guys. We got, well, actually, I got two packages, but I couldn't pick them up. You can't pick up packages on Saturday. You can only pick them up Monday through Friday. But anyway, so I had two of those little yellow things in my mailbox, so I've got two packages that I will pick up on Monday. And I may have to move out of my RV because <laughs> I got too much stuff. <laughs> Woo dog. So what do we got here? Okay, here we go. All the way from New Bern, B-E-R-N, New Bern, North Carolina, to me. It's got a picture of a truck, old truck. That's an old, I don't know, it looks like an old Ford actually. But anyway, yeah, this is pretty neat stuff here. Uh, I'll show you. It says, Hi, Rusty. Well, actually, his name is Matchbook Mike. And uh, what he's got here, and I, I may take it off here in a minute. But, but let me read the letter first. Just don't get things out of order. Hi, or hey, Rusty. A few days ago, in watching one of your videos, this repositioned Nevada cowboy had to laugh. Well, I'm glad I, I got, got somebody to laugh. You were reading a mail call note from a guy living in Sparks, Nevada. More than once did you say Sparks, Nevada. Rusty, rusty, rusty. There are folks living in the Silver State who might light your hair on fire for calling the state anything other than Nevada, as in, or rad, no, Nevada, Nevada, Nav, Nav, Nevada, 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 like what I call it, Nevada, well, whatever, you know what I meant. <laughs> ah, okay, so anything, it's na, na. Nevada, Nevada, okay, Nevada, okay, I got it. Having lived there on and off during the past 20 some years, I assure you only tourists and or those never traveling there pronounces the state as you choose to. Well, at least I'm in the majority. <laughs> Me could give two chits, so you know, anyway, yeah, see, he doesn't really care. Just giving you my two cents worth, Matchbox Mike. Anyway, this says loose change. I'll show you what it is. He's got a, it looks like a penny. And I'm not sure if this is a Canadian coin or something, but it says loose change from years ago. And then it's got a Matchbox from the High Sierra Casino Hotel, Lake, Lake Tahoe, Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Nevada, Nevada. So let's look at it, guys. Is there anything? Let's take it off here without tearing the paper. Can I do that? All right, it's a matchbox from the High Sierra, and guess what's in it? Matches. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, it's an old matchbox. Apparently, it collects matchboxes. Great for you. Thank you. Let's see what this coin is here. Let's get these coins off. Okay, this one is, I'll have to get my, my uh, magnifying glass and put on this one. This one, it's a coin. I want to say, yeah, it is. It's Canadian. It's a Canadian penny, probably. Yeah, one cent Canadian. Probably an old, old one. I can't read it. Let me get, let me get my, let me get my magnifying glass. So I can tell you what it says. Ne, ne, no, no. Va Veda or whatever. Okay, let's take a look at this coin under the magnifying glass. 
And what we see, it is a Canadian one cent coin. It is a Canadian one cent coin. And I don't see a date on it. I'm sure there is, but I can't read it in this light. Okay, so much for that. Let's check this other one. Then the other one is a USA penny. He says his two cents worth. Okay, but it's from... Yeah, this is an old, old penny here. I don't know what date is on it, but this is an old one here. I can tell because it's not made out of copper. It's got a lot of nickel in it. And they did that during World War II. The reason was they didn't want to use up the copper. Yeah, it's a penny, all right. And let's see, this one is dated 19... Hang on, let me get more light on the subject here. 19 and... It looks like 1943. Oh, no, it's a 1943S. Woo, you know how much that's worth? One penny. <laughs> I got a penny. I don't know. I don't worry about coins. But anyway, from, let me be sure I get it right here. Nah. Vada. Nevada. Okay, from Matchbox Mike from N N N Nevada, Nev Nevada, Nevada. No, I'll never get that right. But anyway, having said all that, Nevada, we're going to put your letter back in the envelope that I op. I said envelope. Is it envelope or envelope? Do I care? Two cents. Okay, so we've got, well, he's in North Carolina. I can say that, New Bern, North Carolina. I got that one, maybe. So, having said all that, what do we got here? We got to put this in the bucket of honor. Okay, Matchbox, Mike, Mike, here you, you just, you got promoted to the bucket of honor. The new bucket of honor, the Bud Light Lime bucket of honor. And it'll probably be filled up in a month. But that's fine, folks. Keep those cards and letters coming. I got two packages to pick up money. 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 M-O-N-E-Y. Money. M-O-N-D-A-Y. Monday. Monday. Got that one right, too. But anyway, this right here, this little picture right here came from Cullen. Nine years old. Drew that of me right there. Got a mustache and hair and all the stuff. Just like me, okay? This came from somebody in, I want to say, New York could be but anyway, that's really good these guys are artists and this somebody sent me this but anyway if you do want to send something through the mail do so yeah because that gives me some videos to do for mail call and send it to rusty p.o box 1446 kingsland texas 78639 or you can paypal fund fan fund to paypal fan fund to rusty 78609 at yahoo.com and that, folks, concludes mail call. Now, moving on to something else. What? Securing a camper top. Y'all folks think about that. Because if I leave that back hatch open, now I'll, I'll close the tailgate on the pickup. But I want to leave that hat, the back window thing open and put some of that no see -em stuff across there. But I was reading, or I don't remember if I saw it, if it was a viewer comment or I saw it on one of the videos I was watching about camping in a camper top. And a guy had a coon get inside of his vehicle while he was sleeping. Well, let me tell you, I've lived out here in the country and I've lived in the country pretty much all my life. And coons are very curious. And they are very, 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 very smart. If you think they can't get into something, they can. You got it. If there's something up there they want, or they're looking for a place to make a nest or whatever they do, believe me, they can do the most amazing things. And so, yeah, I would love to be sleeping in a boondock area and be woken up by about a 20-pound or 30-pound bull coon. Whoo, dog! 
Yeah, that would just make my night. Yep, the top, the camper top would probably come off. <laughs> if you see somebody running down the highway with a camper top on his back, you know it's me. You know what happened. But anyway, so I've looked at, you know, they make this, uh, it's like a chicken wire, but it's made out of plastic, so you can roll it up and, you know, cut it real easy with scissors and stuff. I may get some of that and put it across there. But, uh, but you know, they're, they're, they're smart. You know, their little old hands are just like ours. I've seen them put stuff in water and wash it before they eat it. They're good with those little fingers. And so if I put something across the back, don't think they won't take their little paw and push on it. And if they can push it up far enough to get in, they'll do it. So I'll have to probably use some uh, uh, electrical ties or something and, and strap it on and even or, or work up, maybe use some... Uh, uh, you know, like bread ties or something to just hold it on there temporarily during the night. But I'll have to rig up something because it's on my mind. I don't want to be woke up by anything crawling in that truck with me other than me. So having said that, project for the week, guys, figure out a way to secure my van with something simple, cheap, and light, reusable, and flexible, and all that. I, you know, you can't use metal chicken wire. That's out. Uh, but they do make this plastic stuff. But you know, you got to buy whole rolls of it. You know what I mean? You can't buy. I need a piece probably, oh, well, three feet by seven feet, and then I could cut it to fit. Three feet by seven feet plastic netting with about two inch little squares. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, because you want to have ventilation. You don't want the square so small that it doesn't allow any air and even though I'm going to have some uh, no seam netting across there uh, too what I thought I'd do is I'd make them one unit I would take the plastic wire looking stuff and use it as a as a frame to put the uh, no seam netting on and then affix them both to somehow to the back of the truck oh I got plans I get, when I when I get my camper top on Monday it'll be a, a full week of putting stuff in it. Well, at least I'll be able to live in my RV. I mean, I got stuff everywhere, man. I live in a 26-foot Jayco J flight for you that guys have just stumbled into this. And I've done that for 20-plus years. I go camping in a Toyota Prius, or I did that for about five years. And I'm fixing to go camping in a pickup with a camper top on it and see how that works. So if you're interested in RVing or camping in a car, uh, check out the playlist on my homepage. I also have a playlist for the mail calls. If y'all want to go back and look at them, just go to my homepage and click on playlists and then select the one you want to watch and mail call is right in there. But anyway, guys, this concludes mail call and plus some other stuff. And uh, Matchbox Man, thank you very much for your two cents worth of stuff. And uh, all you people that mail things to me, I appreciate it. I got some packages Monday. I've mentioned that about five times. Anyway, 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 anyway. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy USA made when you can. And uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Do that a few times a day. Why? It relieves stress. Relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Lowering your blood pressure. Monogram shirt. Lowering your blood pressure makes you feel better and you will live longer. Your little heart doesn't have to work so hard. And uh, what did I say? Drink three quarts of water. Did I say that? Yet? Well, anyway, drink three quarts of water. It ain't going to hurt you. You may TT like a racehorse or a two or three pecker possum, but you'll feel a hell of a lot better. And uh, stretch. Do something. You'll get up, move around, take a walk, all that stuff. Keep your health because we're going to go camping, probably be leaving out around the 15th of this month and going I have no clue where. And I probably will be a baked potato after the first day if I stay in Fort Stockton, Texas or Ira and Texas, which one of those is going to have to be the option because driving all the way to Guadalupe Mountains takes eight hours and I don't like to do that. Having said that, guys, thumbs up, adios, enjoy your Saturday, enjoy your weekend, and stay tuned for more mail calls coming up in the next few days. Adios, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Cullen. Bye-bye.